Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsha Marie and today we're going to do a bomb wash and go. So stay tuned as I show you my methods to getting great results with my wash and goes. Okay y'all, let's start this process. So yes, I'm still in the shower and that's because I've learned that something that makes a world of difference is applying my leave-in while I'm still in the shower. So I'm going in with my fave, the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. Y'all, this thing is amazing when it comes to moisture. And I'm going in with like a dollar for a quarter size amount. And this is just enough to saturate all my strands. So this leave-in says it is a softening leave-in conditioning cream with silkening rice milk and droplets of warm macadamia nut oil. Y'all... I see no lies, okay? Like this thing keeps my hair silky, moisturized, soft, like it's just amazing. And it runs about $15 in Target and I just keep this thing on hand, like I never run out of it. And I'm done with that section just that quick. So I'm going to do the other side and then we're done with this. Well, at least that section. You're right there Never left me You're always Okay y'all, so we have our hair that is sectioned still. We've already added our leave-in conditioner and we're ready to apply product. One thing I want y'all to notice is that this hair is still soaking wet. And this is like vital when it comes to this wash and go because wet hair, soaking wet hair equals no frizz, okay? And you want to put that styler on and anything you're going to add on while that hair is still soaking wet because like I said, you do not want frizz. So we're going to start our hair into four different parts and I like to start in the back. So that's what I'm going to do now is section that off. Okay, so here we have our first section that's ready to add our styler for our wash and go. But I just wanted to point out that our hair is still detangled from when we detangled it in the shower after adding the conditioner. And this is what you want, y'all. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Okay, so let's reveal our products. The first will be the Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. And secondly, and lastly, will be the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. So this is where the fun begins. We're going to go in with this Coil Sculpting Custard, and it says it offers deep definition. It says to define curls by applying this Coil Sculpting Custard to dripping wet hair. And you take small sections, apply it generously, coating the strands evenly, and it's primarily used for wash and goes. What I'm going to do is grab like a quarter size amount and apply it to the whole section of my hair. And this is like the priming part, so to speak. So I'm just going to like rake the product through my hair, at least this whole section at first. And as you can see, my hair looks immediately defined. I could technically move on, but my goal is to have this for at least five days. So we're going to add a little bit more of the custard just to ensure that each part of my hair or each strand is coated. This part is very important for your end result when it comes to your wash and go. So we're going to get ready to move on to the next section. I'll probably use or have like four to six parts within this section that I'm going to separate and make sure that we're putting product on. It won't be a lot of product that we're doing on each section as you can see. We're just going to rake that through the hair. And at the end, you'll see I'm like balling my fist to add product to my ends. And then I'm going to move on to shingling. Shingling is just like separating the coils one by one. And you can like add a little twist on the bottom too, as if you're finger coiling. And that just helps with your curls. That just helps with definition. I try to shingle my whole head, but you know, missing a part or two doesn't hurt anybody. 
But y'all, we're almost done with step one of adding product for our wash and go. Catch me running, open your arms. There when I'm hurting, picked up my heart. Oh, you fix me up. I'm all yours. In this section, I'm just going to use my brush because my hair got a little tangled when I was separating those sections, but it's okay. We're almost done. Okay, so we're done with the first section with the custard, but as I look through, yes, I have definition, but on some pieces, I'm going to add a little bit more of the custard just so we have full definition, no frizz to the section, because this is going to make or break our wash and go. But on to the next, the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. Y'all, this gel is thick. It is like goop or whatever you want to call it and I'm going to apply it in the same way I did the custard I'm going to put it on the whole section first and I'm going to go through the section in different parts with the gel so I can make sure I'm coating each strand of my hair and y'all the point of using this gel is because it just adds some hold. And because of the hold, we get longevity with our wash and go. So this gel says it holds and cares. It has aloe vera, is alcohol free with a fresh smell and no residues. Some gels, you know, cause your hair to flake. And these two products mix well. The custard and the extreme professional styling gel, they don't put that white residue on your hair at first. Now, if you do days and days of adding the gel to your edges or something, you will get some flakes. So just be careful when you're doing that. So we're going to apply the gel and the coiling custard all over our hair in the same way that I showed you. And we're going to fast forward through all of this because I think you got the hang of it. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to add a little water to this because our hair started drying a little bit and you'll see that throughout the rest of this video. If my ends look a little dry, thirsty, whatever, I'm going to add a little bit more of the water then I'm going to follow up with the moisture milk. And like I said, we just want to make sure moisture is on board before adding all our products.
So now we're at our final section and I'm going to do a side part, which is pretty much what I always do. So we're going to take a rat tail comb and I love these rat tail combs with the metal ends because these parts become so precise. And we're going to make that part, do this last section, and then we'll be done. Okay, here's how I slick these edges down. I just put that same gel to my edges and take my rat tail comb and like comb it a little bit and smooth it out. And I kind of do like a little design or whatever you want to call it right here. And this just ensures that it stays down. And y'all, this stays there for like a couple days. I might have to redo it depending on what I did that day or how I slept or whatever, but it pretty much stays intact. Whew, y'all, we're at the last part. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, our curls look defined, and y'all, it's time to dry our hair. I'm going to set it in my dryer for about 45 minutes to an hour, and I'll be back. So now that my hair is fully dried, I'm ready to fluff. But wait, do not go in with your pick yet. Just grab some oil, whatever oil you have at home, and we're going to break this gel cast, okay? And what I mean is we're going to get that crunchy, hard feeling off of our hair so that we have soft hair. And this is called the praying hand methods. Lord, please let this wash and go come out right. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do this throughout our whole head. And y'all... To be honest, sometimes I skip this step just because I know I have a long week ahead. I can get up to like eight, nine days with the style if I leave my gel cast on because our hair goes from flat, defined hair to soft, voluminous hair over those like eight, nine plus days. But, you know, for voluminous and soft, full hair, this is the way to go. And just like that, y'all, we're done. We have defined soft hair that will get bigger over the next few days. I hope you found something insightful from this video. And make sure that you leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.